So today I have this video clip that shows a moving subway train going by and someone walks past the camera right afterwards. So our goal today is really to create a text that appears as the subway train goes by and then disappears as this person walks past the camera. So we're gonna end up with this really cool effect that looks like the moving subjects are making our text appear and disappear. All right, to get started, the first thing we're gonna do is to create the actual text. We're gonna do that by going to titles and then under titles, we're gonna locate text plus. And then we're just gonna drag and drop it right on top of our existing video clip. So text plus itself is actually powered by Fusion. So, you know, but it's been packaged in, uh, as a feature on edit page so that we don't actually have to go to the Fusion page. Okay, we're gonna click text plus and then we're gonna go to inspector panel. Under inspector panel, we're going to write our text under style text box. We're just gonna write dynamic text, but really you can write anything you like here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and also I'm gonna make some minor changes to the style of the text as well as the size of the text as well. And then I'm also gonna change the color of the text. I'm gonna change it to yellow so that it creates a nice contrast against the black and white uh, background. Okay, so once this is down, I'm also gonna change the location of the text as well by going to the video tab uh, on top there. And then under the video tab, I'm gonna locate the position parameter. I'm just gonna change it so that, you know, this text is sitting kind of right on top of the platform. Okay, so cool. So once all this is done, we're gonna get started on creating the actual dynamic text. And to do that, the first thing we're gonna do is to switch to the Fusion tab. First, switch back to the Fusion tab, and then under Fusion tab, we're gonna scroll down and locate right on. So right on feature is what will allow us to create this dynamic effect where each character appears and disappears. So as you can see that as I change the, uh, uh, the range control, uh, each ca uh, character starts to disappear. And then as I move the range control to the left, each character starts to appear again. So this along with keyframe, which is located literally right next to range control, is what's really going to allow us to, to determine at what point of the video uh, we want each character uh, to start appear or disappear. Okay, so to do that, the first thing we're gonna do is just set the initial keyframe, and then we're just gonna make everything disappear at this point. And then the next thing we're gonna do is just to move to the next frame, and then we're gonna just uh, drag the range control a little bit to the left, and then go to the next uh, frame, and then just con continue to move our range control to the left, and then go to the next frame, and then move our range control to the left. So we're just gonna repeat the same process. So as you can see, it's kind of tedious, but this is really what it takes. We have to go frame by frame, and then as the frame changes, we're gonna decide you know, if you know, we want our character to start appear at that point. And a couple things I wanna point out as you watch how this is being done right now is that uh, once the initial keyframe is set, as you can see that as we set, uh, as we change the range control, it automatically uh, sets the keyframe for us. So we don't actually have to manually set uh, a keyframe afterwards. So this is a really cool feature. And, and another thing is just, you know, uh, the, how this process is being done, we have to really go frame by frame. And that's really the key. So it can get a little bit tedious, but that's really what it takes. Okay, so in this part, we're gonna once again do the same thing. We're gonna set a keyframe here, and then we're just gonna move to the next frame and then change the range control. And then we're gonna go to the next frame and then change the range control a little bit again so that the next character uh, starts to disappear. So it really you can see that we're going frame by frame and, and we're really trying to make sure that as this subject is moving uh, you know, in the, in the video, uh, the, the character that is closest to the subject starts to disappear. And this is really what's going to give us that cool, uh, cool effect. Okay, so once all this is done, we're just gonna let it render. And now once it's rendered, we're gonna have a look at what it looks like. Okay, this looks absolutely perfect. So it really looks like the moving subjects themselves are making our text appear and disappear. So I hope this helps guys. And in the next video, we're gonna look at how to create the same thing, but in the Fusion page. And also kind of we're gonna look at why perhaps it's worth, uh, worth your while to go to the Fusion page and some of the benefits that come with creating this same thing uh, in the Fusion page.